began with a dream. Not anymore. The front door was locked. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Whoa, what am I hitting? What the fuck is that? Whoa! Uh oh. Oh, I made it. Wait, was I not supposed to make it? Oh no, I, I can. Okay. Get fucked. Oh no, I'll definitely need to back up, won't I? Eh. 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 Hey, we did it. Let's go. Fuck off. Whoa! I can't make it through. Get fucked, little guy. Okay. All righty. <clears throat> Big up. What are these? I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Oh, shit! Yo!
is fucking sick. Whoa. That was fucking sick. That was so fucking sick. I love that. Holy shit! That was cool as all fucking get out! Hey, Al! This way to the farm! Seller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Oh wow, his f he actually to get this thing moved out of the way. He actually moves his hand. If you're fucking shooting light in his way, that's interesting. That's funny. <sighs> hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? <laughs> Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive. Serious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend back. That's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. <laughs> it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Wow. <laughs> you look at that thing, Al. Oh, I love that. Oh, I want it. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for the... Sleep. Oh. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? 
Wait, uh, wait, Alan Rick wrote for Night Springs? The dream of dreams. Ah, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones to explore the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh wow, who's that? <laughs> Thank you. So we wait till what the heck a doodle? Keep things nice and calm. Hey, thank you for the 19 months, Honor Matrix. How you doing? Yeah, what's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? <laughs> thank you. Holy shit. Whoa, holy shit. Oh, I, oh, I Skittles, thank you so much for the raid. Much appreciated. Hell yeah. That's fucking awesome. Welcome in, guys. We've got, we've got just a little bit left to go uh, before we head out for the night, but thank you so much for stopping by. Much appreciated. That Night Springs episode kind of sucked. <laughs> thank you. Supreme Leader Andrew, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the heaviest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked. Shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. So that's how they went crazy. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Alan Wake is great. Uh, this is true. Thank you so much, Cleta, for uh, for guiding the raid. I appreciate that. Um. Yeah. No. This is awesome. Alan Wake is fucking great. This is a. Uh, I've never gotten further than uh, last mission. So like this is all new territory for me. Ragnarok tour be awed by Celestial Wrath and Fury, Baton Rouge, Bakersfield, New York City. Nice. I would have listened to these guys. I absolutely would have listened to these guys. Going, Al. Nice. Whoa, hello. Alan, Alan has been awake. Whoa, that was good. Oh shit. Oh, you know what? Fuck it, pump. Alan has been awake for at least <laughs> thank you. several hours now, maybe a couple days. Skittles, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Hell yeah. Who the fuck is that? I don't... Oh, there he is. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I hate these fucking guys. Where is that? Where is it at? Oh! 
Oh, Jesus! Oh, I don't have any flares. Great. Oh, shit. I'm actually fucked. All right, you guys back up, back up, back up. Oh, Jesus. So is that? Okay, cool. There we go. Oh my god. Fucking. Stay still. There we go. Yes, there we go. Uh, the truck was a possessed item But I think it was fucking up because it was a uh, it was in contact with um With all the guys and then got stuck in a looping animation when I flared it But either way it made that encounter easier, so I'm not <laughs> I'm not I'm not mad at it quite a production going on You know what Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them Sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Henry Ford doesn't des Henry Ford doesn't deserve his vehicle back. Henry Ford can suck my knob. That was oh, Jesus. I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? Yeah, I'm good, Barry. They're just jump scaring me bad. Nothing over here, okay. Manuscript page, nope. Cool. Anything over here? Uh, lithium batteries, let's go. Fuck yeah, I like that. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. Can't talk about that, Thor. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. You gonna be playing Rimworld? Nice. I've heard, I've heard that title. Sci-fi colony sim driven by intelligent AI storytellers. Oh, fuck yeah. I like that. Is it just me or does Deerfest get wilder? Rimworld on Steam. More drunk at least or they start earlier. I'm going to add that to my wish list. Definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely Pat. Hey. Yeah, no. I I like I like I like uh I like I like sci-fi sims. I will be looking into Rimworld now. I might try to catch a stream. All right, nice, nice little radio time. Uh, silo doors. I am. If they were gonna jump scare me at a generator, now would be the fucking time to do it, and they didn't do it. Cowards. Remedy. Bunch of cowards. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. 
That's a that's a chainsaw. I don't like that. Dude, I know, right? It's fucking crazy, man. Oh! You got to be kidding me. Oh! Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Honestly, wouldn't be mad Alan Wake coming in as a survivor for Dead by Daylight. I wouldn't play Survivor, but fuck, that'd be cool. He is, after all, a writer. Silo keys, let's go. Anything extra in here? No? Nothing? No manuscript pages you guys want to give me? Okay, all right. Yeah, it's me, buddy. Hey, let's go, man. We can't have much further to go on this, uh... We're gonna have to work together to open uh, on this chapter. Once we finish this episode, we'll be ending. By this point, I've been going so long, I'll, I'll take the loss and sleep. I can always make coffee in the morning. My job's not that hard. Come on, one more gate. That's a chainsaw. Old gods know the truth. God, these guys are fucking awesome. The lights are out. Guess we better check the fuse box. You know, this place looks kind of lit. Old gods know the truth. Oh shit, oh shit. Again. Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Here we go. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. 
Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? Yeah! Drinking with Barry, boys! I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, you're like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. <laughs> I like ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I could. Uh. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? <laughs> what do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm a writer, goddammit. A, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. Thanks so much for stopping by, Skittles. Have a good sleep and thank you so much for the raid. Much appreciated. I'm a writer, goddammit. That's got to be the end of episode three. No, it isn't. Wow. Oh, shit. drunken dream and yet it was more than that it was the truth a suppressed memory unearthed by the anderson's moonshine i was there an out-of-body observer this was the night alice and i had arrived at bright falls the night alice had disappeared i had a chance to find out what had alice? happened alice? i remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark alice would have never turned the lights off i remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! Damn! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. So if Alan Wake wrote all this, right? And he's writing this way as a, as a way to... touch me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. And is writing a way to save Alice, but if Alice dies in the end, does that mean that he wrote that? Maybe he, he's like he he wrote a way to save her, and then and then he's like, oh, you know what? That's too cliche. I'm just gonna kill her off anyway. It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, 
you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zeng was weak, and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I am here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my Barbara a long time ago. She looks so old. So yeah, the light was Thomas Zane. Fuck, I was right. Yeah, I'm smart. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Sick ass evil dead uh shot. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Oh, interesting. Okay. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Whoa! Holy shit! I'm